Why is it important, in your opinion, starting with Mark, not to vote for Mark Gatlin or Simon Hare? Oh, yes. Because if you vote for them, you are going to get a continuation of exactly what's been going on. Or worse. Or worse. Guaranteed. More levies, more ordinances. Yep. Same old, same old. You want the same old, same old? More government, more expensive government with less services. Vote for them. Nina? I can't uh, say anything more than what Mark just said. It's true. It's true. It's corruption at its best in one suit or another, so it's your choice. There is a lot of people right here, right now, that really want to make changes, and I feel that if we band it together, we can make it happen, so, but it is your choice, but I would, I myself am not voting for either one of those two. <laughs> Jerry? Well, I see Mark as, he's trying to be a career politician or a career bureaucrat, yeah. One or the other. I call them public trough drinkers, uh, what I call them, feeders. Uh, I'm not here for that reason at all. I'm here because I have a do getter streak and I want to exercise it on a higher level. And uh, that would be the commissioner's job at this point. And as far as, as, as uh, Simon goes, I was shocked when he was elected into this office because here's a young man. <laughs> with no life experiences. He made one trip to Washington and that qualifies him for what? He's out of high school and now he's in the commissioner's position. I don't understand it. He is a young man with, with more hubris than gravitas. That's how I see this man. He's a, he's a lightweight who thinks he's a real player and I don't like him. I mean, I don't like him as a commissioner. I, I don't know him personally. I don't want to go there. I don't know him personally. But I've been following his career the past four years, and I'm thinking, how did this ever happen? So anyway, that's my opinion. And Mark, of course, I've already said, I think Mark is, is he's just said, oh, and, and as far as Simon, I think he thinks that this job as the county commissioner is something to put on his resume and probably a stepping stone to something higher that he has in, in store. And I don't believe his heart is really in the commissioner's job. He's just playing. He's just playing the numbers, going through the steps, so he can move on to something greater. So that's my opinion of Mark and and son. Mark Seligman. Answer as short as possible. Um, well, <laughs> maybe more than want to participate, and all of a sudden have a question. Uh, I hate to be negative towards people. I'd rather boost my own qualities, but I could say Mark Allen and Simon here pretty much are opposite me on most issues. Medical marijuana, they're opposite me. Tax levies are opposite me. Uh, both of these people mislead you. Simon Hare sat in this very room and said, I'm against tax levies. Uh, now you see how he is. Mark Gatlin in the Illinois Valley News was quoted as saying, if you don't pass this tax levy, your tax rate will go three to five dollars a thousand. Clearly false. You know, when you elect someone, you don't know what issues are going to happen three years from now. You elect someone based on their judgment and their integrity. I feel I have better judgment and better integrity. And you know something? I never got so drunk that I couldn't remember where I left. <laughs> so, you know, follow the money. You see the big signs out there. For you that live here in Cape Junction, Simon Hare was against the barter fair and the dome school. He wanted to restrict them. And we sat in this building and he walked out. So I support this community. And I don't think he does. And he grew up here. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> question back there. No, Sandy oh, Casanelli. Then your question. I, I believe um, Simon here um, is lacking a moral compass. Um, what I've seen, like Mark says, is the oil oh, I'm against taxes and everything when he ran. And then he to totally betrayed us in the last May's levy, this May's levy. And by the way, he was for the ordinances before he was against the ordinances. Yeah. So the thing. thing Another is, policy. Yeah, right. So, so um, he has done stuff, you know, like just you know, going along with a 7 or 8% increase in SEIU union wages um, or, uh, you know, pay scale adjustments. Um, there's so many things that that um, 
interrupts people at the weekly business session. I was interrupted seven times in three minutes. He wouldn't let me speak. And then the next time that I wanted to speak, he says, no, you were disruptive. I was disrupted. He interrupted me, but he wouldn't let me speak the next week and then apologized the third week. So, you know, uh, with Simon, it, he... Even within a five-minute little dissertation at a weekly business session, he'll state one position, and by the end of five minutes, he'll have stated the exact opposite position. Mark Gatlin has lied to the public also uh, regarding the, the taxes and the ordinances, and uh, in my opinion, they're both the same flavor. You know, take your pick if you're a good old boy tax and spend, um, uh, you know, city boy. You know, pick Mark Atlin or Simon here, it doesn't matter. Simon had a, a purpose to get Dave Toller out of office, I believe. That's what people wanted. And so now I believe that people have to get Simon out of office.